up guys, it's your boy, Barca Boy 103. Today we're gonna to be reacting to the Barcelona news over the past 24 hours. We're gonna talk about the possibility of a swap deal this summer between Antoine Griezmann and Saul Ninguez in Atletico Madrid, and also how Man City and Pep Guardiola are interested in Antoine Griezmann this summer. Alejandro Balde and Ilas Maribas' future at Barcelona is currently unclear, with both their contract expiring this summer. They have two options, either renew their contracts or be sold by the club this summer. Carlos Alenia has officially joined Getafe, and also we're gonna talk about some player exit this is Sergio Roberto, Martin Braithwaite, and Felipe Coutinho. But before we get into it, make sure you guys smash that like button down below. Let's try to get the 200 likes in this video. Be very much appreciated. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well. And let's get into it. Let's start with the news in regards to the Antoine Griezmann Saul Ninguez swap deal. It has been the biggest rumor over the past 24 hours. It was on the front cover of Mundo Deportivo last night. They came out saying that Barcelona and Atletico Madrid are contemplating the idea of exchanging Antoine Griezmann and Saul Ninguez because Barcelona are looking for a new midfielder and Saul Ninguez wants to leave Atletico Madrid and Simeone has not forgotten about Antoine Griezmann. And Saul Ninguez has told Atletico Madrid that he wants to leave the club this summer. The club's also trying to help him find a way out of the club this summer as well, but they have not received a good bid so far. They did receive a 40 million pound bid for Liverpool that was rejected. And also, don't forget that Atletico Madrid already found the replacement for Saul Ninguez in the team in Rodri de Pol. They've already signed him 40 million euros, done deal after the Copa America. It will be announced. The club is very clear that swap deals is the only way to sign important players. Barcelona want to strengthen the midfield and were close to signing Wijnaldum before PSG came in and hijacked the deal. More, however, Barcelona are also desperate to reduce the wage bill this summer. And Antoine Griezmann is one of the favorites to leave after Usman Dembele's injury. And Ronald Koeman is willing to part ways with Antoine Griezmann even after he said yesterday that. That he wants him to stay at the club only if it's a condition that Leo Messi will continue at the club. Antoine Griezmann's environment does not deny that former club would be a possible destination if he leads Barcelona and Diego Simeone wants his return as well. If the deal goes through, Ronald Koeman will get a midfielder that perfectly suits his profile. Atletico Madrid will get back to their former star and Antoine Griezmann and his family will be happy to return to Madrid. And finally, Barcelona will drastically reduce the wage bill to be able to register Leo Messi. And Gabriel Sanz from Mundo Deportivo has come out saying that Ronald Koeman wants a box-to-box -box midfielder this summer after Wijnaldum escaped. He keeps asking for it and Saul Ninguez is an option. Barcelona are interested in Saul Ninguez for a long time and Barcelona also have the first refusal for him. Now remember back in 2019 when we bought Antoine Griezmann for 120 million Atletico Madrid were pretty salty at us because we talked to Antoine Griezmann before in February. So in order to have no beef between Barcelona and Atletico Madrid Bartomeu paid 15 million euros to Atletico Madrid to have first right refusal for like a lot of players like Coque, Saul Ninguez, Jose Jimenez, a lot of their players. That way they wouldn't sue Barcelona for you know tapping up Griezmann before his contract actually expired and that clause actually kicked in. And Goal have come out back in that statement from Gabriel Sanz from Mundo Deportivo. They have come out saying that Saul Ninguez has the profile that Ronald Koeman wants for the team and Antoine Griezmann will be willing to lower his salary in order to return to Atletico Madrid. Now, a couple of things from my mind. Firstly, if we're swapping Saul for Griezmann, we need way, 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 way more from Atletico Madrid. We're getting so undervalued. Saul Ninguez is worth 40 million. Antoine Griezmann is worth at least 70 to 80 million. I want something else. I want another player plus cash. I want something else. And secondly, why is Antoine Griezmann lowering his wages to go back to Atletico Madrid, but not to stay at Barcelona and play with Leo Messi? I don't believe that part of it. I don't believe this whole entire thing, to be honest. I think this is another tactic for Juan Laporta to make some rumors about Antoine Griezmann. They go up to him saying, look, if you want to stay at the club, you have to drastically reduce your wages. I think that's what Juan Laporta is doing right now, making some rumors about Antoine Griezmann to get him to reduce his salary at Barcelona. But again, if we're swapping for Saul, I don't mind Saul as a box back midfielder. I actually really like him. But again, I want more from Atletico Madrid. If it's just a player swap just between Antoine Griezmann and Saul, we are getting robbed. Absolutely robbed. So wait and see what happens with this. Don't think this rumor is true in any way, shape, or form. But hopefully Antoine Griezmann will stay at Barcelona and reduce his wages. Now, aside from Atletico Madrid, Manchester City has also emerged as an option for Antoine Griezmann this summer, coming in from Foot Mercado. And they've come out saying that Barcelona hope that a serious offer will arrive for Antoine Griezmann this summer. They want to reduce the wages. Bill and Manchester City have also contacted Antoine Griezmann. He is the backup option to Harry Kane, and there are other options too. Now, there have been reports coming out saying that Pep Guardiola actually called Antoine Griezmann to convince him to come to Man City this summer as that backup to Harry Kane. I don't believe that in any way, shape, or form. I don't think Pep Guardiola ever wants to, you know, get involved with Barcelona transfers. He said this back in the past. I don't really want to do with that. I don't, you know, call Messi Tom to come to Man City. That's not really Pep's, you know, style. But again, there are a lot of rooms of Antoine Griezmann leaving the club this summer. But again, if he does reduce his wages, I do believe that he will stay at Barcelona. I think he's a big, big asset to our attack for the bench and also in the starting lineup as well. And do not forget that yesterday, Ronald Koeman came out in the golf tournament saying that he wants Antoine Griezmann to stay. The main reason why Antoine Griezmann could leave the club this summer is 
in order to keep Leo Messi at the club because of the massive wage bill. But Under Theodou have come out saying that there are elite presidents of Spanish football who are willing to make a contribution to pay Messi's contract at Barcelona and keep him in Spain. They say it's beneficial for Barcelona and the Spanish league as well. So apparently some of the presidents of La Liga clubs, maybe I don't know, like Villarreal, Valencia, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, they are willing to pay for Messi's contract at the club. Not really pay fully, but you know, help Barcelona pay for it in order to keep him in La Liga. I mean, we'll absolutely take that, but I don't really know if this report is true or not. I think Under Theodore are a good source, but again, the only reliable man I know there is Alfredo Martinez. I don't know about, you know, Roberto Gomez or other reporters there for that outlet, but again, if it is true, you can't blame them really. Messi brings all the attractions and all the views to La Liga. If he does leave, it'll pump it straight to the ground. That's why I could not believe that Javier Tebas would not help us keep Messi because I don't know why he had some, you know, some big plan to bring in Mbappe to Real Madrid. That's what he really wants, the next start after Messi. But if Messi leaves now and Mbappe does not come, La Liga views are going straight to the ground. So again, the clubs know that. And of course, Messi brings them money as well because when more people watch La Liga, the clubs get more money. Like, for example, who's going to watch Barcelona versus Rayo Vallecano? No one, right? Only Barcelona, only really diehard fans like me. But some people may be sitting at home bored saying, oh, Messi's playing, let's just go watch that for a bit. It brings in attraction. So we'll wait and see what happens about this, if it's true or not. If it's true, it wouldn't surprise me. But again, La Liga clubs are trying to do their best to keep Leo Messi in the league next season. But a player that won't be playing for Barcelona next season is Carlos Alinea. Yesterday, the club announced that he will move to Getafe on a permanent transfer. Official FC Barcelona have reached an agreement for Getafe for the transfer of Carlos Alinea. Barcelona will reserve 50% of rights of the future sale of the player, a repurchase option, and the right to match any offer received by Getafe. Now, this really makes me laugh because in yesterday's video, I told you, like, wait for for those details that come out, we know the fee will be $5 million, but wait for all that sort of stuff, you know, the buyback option, right for first refusal, the percent of future sale, we don't know exactly because the rumors are never true. Turns out we have all three. So we have a buyback option in the contract. We have a 50% right of any future sales. So if Hatafe sell Alinea, we get 50% of that sale. And we also have the right for first refusal. So if a bid comes in for Alinea to Hatafe, they have to tell us about it first. If we match that bid, we get the player. Now in the official announcement, there was no mention of a transfer fee. So according to Barcelona, Alinea has joined Hatafe for no fee whatsoever. But for Bitsu Romano has come out saying that Carlos Alinea's transfer fee will be around 5 million euros. So not announced by the club, but every single top journalist in the world is coming out saying that we do get something from Getafe around 5 million euros. But nonetheless, Alenia has gone to Getafe on an official deal from Barcelona on a permanent transfer. Wish him all the best in his future. Let's now discuss the players that have been linked with the move away from Barcelona over the past 24 hours. Firstly is Martin Braithwaite coming in from Xavi Lemos from Cat Radio. He's come out saying that Barcelona's sporting sector hope to receive interesting offers of a good transfer fee have increased after Braithwaite's performance with the Danish national team in the Euros. And the club's sporting official expect Braithwaite to accept his departure due to the signing of Aguero and Depay and also be because Ronald Coleman does not have him in his plans for next season. So Martin Braithwaite is set to leave the club this summer. For me, I want anything more than 15 million euros this summer. After the great performances he's done in the Euros, I think his market value has gone up from 8 million to 15. If we can just get every single penny that we spent on him for that release clause back in 2020, I think I'll absolutely take that for sure. We'll see what happens with him, but again, right now he's on vacation, so there won't be anything, you know, over the next few weeks, but definitely for sure, Martin Braithwaite's future is far away from Barcelona. Now, a Barca player's future right now at the club that is currently unclear is Sergio Roberto coming in from Mateo Marito from Sky Sports. He's come out saying that Sergio Roberto can leave Barcelona this summer. He is transferable. The club has to make money and is trying to find a solution. So Mr. Mateo here stating the obvious. As we all know, Barcelona do want to get rid of Roberto this summer. But again, no club right now is interested in him. If a bid does come in for Roberto, I think Barcelona will accept it, negotiate it, do whatever they can. I think, you know, I honestly think of like, for example, let's say Inter Milan bid $5 million for Roberto. Laporta will say... How about 7 million plus, you know, future sale plus this plus that, all that sort of stuff. You do whatever he can to get rid of Roberto this summer. But if the club cannot get rid of Roberto this summer, they will offer him a new two-year contract because they want to retain his value because his contract expires next summer. They don't want him to be able to leave next summer for free. So we'll wait and see what happens. But my bet is that Sergio Roberto will be getting that new contract by the end of the summer. Now, another bit feeler at the club that's future is very, very far away from Barcelona this summer is Felipe Coutinho. And for Bitsu Romano has come out saying that Felipe Coutinho moving to Italian clubs like Inter Milan or AC Milan is very difficult. His salary is a massive obstacle for them. So for Brizio staying the obvious, we only that continues on a lot of money. Right now reported around 400k a week. Barcelona the one to pay that and neither does any other club that are interested in bringing in Coutinho this summer. If he wants to leave the club, he's going to have to reduce his wages. Same with Barcelona. They want to get rid of him. They have to reduce his wages. Everything is, you know, all the tunnels, all the roads are pointing to the fact that Coutinho has to reduce his wages 
or else he could not be playing football next season. Now, a player's future that is currently in doubt at the moment is the future of Barcelona B midfielder Ilash Mariba, coming in from Fabrizio Romano. He's come out confirming the news from yesterday, saying that the rumors about Barcelona Ilas Mariba in a complex situation over his contract renewal are true. Premier League clubs are keeping a close eye on him. And can this year have come out saying that Mariba's environment does not understand why Barcelona have left him out of the preseason? They said the renewal talks are not stagnated, but the message from Barcelona is very clear. As long as he does not renew, he will not be part of the first team. Now, Mark have come out back in that statement from Candice and they also added that if he does leave the club this summer, Barcelona would want to sell him for around 15 to 20 million euros, a good opportunity for the club, especially for the financial crisis. But they've also come out saying that Ilash Mariba refuses to leave Barcelona this summer. The club offered him 15 days ago the same salary that he has at Barcelona B, but the player did not accept it as his desire was to renew the contract. However, the club's message is very clear. Either you accept the offer on the table or look for a way out. So with more news coming out about Mariba, I do believe the club is being a little bit harsh on Mariba, giving him the same salary that he's on at Barcelona B to be promoted to the first team. It is a bit harsh, but then again, we don't have any money. Right now, he's reported to be on 15K a week. He wants more than that. We don't know what's, what's more. More could be 20, more could be 50 or 100. But Barcelona have said, no, either take this contract or you will be leaving the club. But if he does leave this summer, Barcelona want around 15 to 20 million euros for his transfer, which to be honest, is not that bad whatsoever. But now it's just a waiting game. Over the next few days, we should have a decision whether Mariba will stay at Barcelona this summer or leave the club. Now on the topic of Elash Mariba, I've seen a lot of comments in yesterday's transfer video about Manchu coming in to replace Mariba in the team, how Manchu is better, all that sort of stuff. But Manchu is set to leave the club this summer, coming in from the Ideal Granada, who are very, very top reliable journalists in the space of Granada. They've come out saying that Manchu will join Granada and sign a three or four year contract. And the transfer will be for free, with Barcelona reserving a buyback option and a percent of any future sale. The deal will be official very, very soon. So to everyone saying that Manchu could replace Mariba in the team, that's not going to happen. I see a lot of people saying that he's actually better than Mariba, to be honest. I probably agree at the moment, but I'm happy that Monchu will be staying in La Liga. He will be joining Granada. There were reports coming out saying that he may go back to Segunda A. Thank God he said no to that. I want to see him in La Liga facing Barcelona this upcoming season. So we'll see what he's actually made of. But again, Monchu to Granada will be official very, very soon. Now, another Barcelona B player's future that is currently unclear at the club is Alejandro Balde coming in from AS. They have come out saying that Alejandro Balde's case is very similar to Elash Mariba. Alejandro's contract is due to expire in 2022 and he has not renewed it yet. But his agent is Jorge Mendes, of course the same as Cristiano Ronaldo, thus Barcelona putting pressure on him to renew by not involving him in the preseason. And Sport have come out saying the exact same thing, saying that Alejandro Baldes case is very similar to Ilash Mariba. While this contract does expire in 2022, with the club having a plus two additional season clause in his contract, until the contract negotiation progress, the player will not move up to the first team. Now the Mariba situation I understand, but the Alejandro Baldes situation I do not understand whatsoever. We just reported a few days ago that Alejandro Baldes is going to be the backup of Jordi Alba but next season we're not sending a new left back this summer and now he's not he may not even stay at the club so we're going into next season with only one left back i mean apparently the club have a plus two uh, clause on his uh, contract i don't know why they just don't activate that and then just move on and deal with the situation you know another time maybe next summer when we actually have money and stuff but they're making a big deal of it now i guess i can understand why the club are doing it they don't want someone that's not going to be committed to the future of the club completely understand it but again he is going to be the backup of Jordi Alba. Again, we're not signing a left back. He is going to be the backup. And if the backup is not doing the preseason training with the first team, it just doesn't make sense. So again, just like Mariba, it's a waiting game now for Alejandro Balde. He has the choice to stay at the club this summer and do the preseason and be the backup of Jordi Alba next season or lead the club this summer. So that was my reaction to the Barcelona news over the past 24 hours. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, and of course leave your thoughts down below in the comments on everything we discussed. But the main thing I wanna know is about Antoine Griezmann and the Salo swap deal. Would you do it? Would you ask for more from Atletico Madrid? Leave me your thoughts about that down in the comments below. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Take care, and Forza Barca.